There's a brand new 3DS title about to hit the shelves called Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. It's a modernized remake of an acclaimed Game Boy Advance title, and we're going to learn more about that in a minute. But I think the first thing that we should do is explore the twists and turns of the history of this franchise that's been with us for 15 years. Well, we started in 2003 with the original Superstar Saga, and that was the first time that we really saw Mario and Luigi playing together. It was this more collaborative combat game, so, and that made a big difference. It was a different style of RPG. It was kind of like an RPG light, but still a ton of fun for people to play. And then following up from that, we had Partners in Time, which is another interesting game where we had this whole, is it a prequel, a sequel, it goes back in time, and you play along with Mario and Luigi, and then you get all the, the baby versions. So it's this interesting idea where you're playing as multiple characters, and you think of a team, and you're much more collaborative in your attacks. Following up from that was one of the most intriguing gameplay mechanisms in Mario and Luigi, Bowser's in side story where Bowser's tricked and he's given a lucky mushroom and it turns out that mushroom is not so lucky and it's the vacuum mushroom. So at certain points you can actually trigger it and he will vacuum everything into his stomach. So it's a fun game in that most of it's played from Bowser's perspective but if Bowser is having a big fight and he needs some help he can suck all the enemies into his internals and then lo and behold there's a tiny Mario and Luigi inside there waiting for a scrap. We move on from Bowser's inside story to uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team and this marks a big change because this is the first time that the game comes into 3D and so the designers really played with that system and they played with the, the humour as well so half of the gameplay is done in the new 3D and then when Luigi is asleep because he's the big dreamer in the game it's played from a 2D perspective to give that you know, very different gameplay and it introduced these new different attack categories you know it's another great game and another game which is kind of off kilted to the rest of the series yeah and then following up from that was Mario and Luigi Paper Jam so while we've got relatively similar battle components we've got very different guests so in this one you'll actually see Mario, Luigi and Paper Mario comes in, so it's a blending of the Paper Mario series and the Mario and Luigi series. So you're playing against two Bowsers, not just one, you know, so we've got Paper Princess, we've got Real Princess. They've really built that into the game design as well, so one of the great elements of that game was the trio attack, where you blend the power of all the heroes into a single attack. But what is the secret to the longevity of the Mario and Luigi series? Here's Nintendo of America's Bill Trinan. Well, the Mario & Luigi series is great because A, it's an adventure that is Mario and Luigi together. And it's not just switching off between one and the other, but really it's the first time in Mario & Luigi, the original Superstar Saga, was the first time that the two of them went on an adventure together in a way that you could interact with both characters. But for me, maybe I'm biased because I, I help localize many of these games, but for me it's the comedy. And the original game, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which is being remade for 3DS, the entire theme of the game is laughing and humor, and that permeates everything from the writing and the comedy and the storytelling all the way to the names of the characters, like the villain Cackletta, which comes from Cackle, and, you know, the Woohoo University, which is named after a type of laughing. Woohoo! <laughs> Everything in the name is themed around laughing, and I think it really comes through, and it, it just makes the games really fun and really funny. Something fascinating about the Mario and Luigi games is that they're not created internally at Nintendo, but rather at a partner studio called Alpha Dream. Alpha Dream is a, they're a second party developer that we work with in Japan. They primarily have done just the Mario and Luigi series, although there was a, one title they did on Game Boy Advance that released only in Japan that was called Tomato Adventure that had uh, many of sort of the similar silly comedy themes uh, that you see in the Mario and Luigi series. But uh, they've really done a great job of finding ways to take Mario and Luigi in new directions, finding ways to leverage characters like Bowser, as well as their you know, unique characters to the series like Fawful and Cacletta, to really help bring a new flavor to the Mario and Luigi universe. Now Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is back and it's been retooled for the power of the 3DS and I asked Nintendo to give us an overview. As you'd expect from a game like this, the story is a little bit tongue in cheek. Unfortunately, Princess is having another bad day and this time, of all things, it's her voice has been stolen. So you've got these Cacletta and Fawful come over, they pretend to be these royal dignitaries from another world, and they come over and they steal her voice. And if that wasn't bad enough, Bowser comes in and tries to then kidnap this mute princess that we've got. And so our heroes come in, see what's happening, fight off Bowser. Bowser thinks, oh, hang on, maybe, uh, maybe it's good for us if we have a princess with a voice. And so the team get together and they try and fight Cacletta to get the princess's voice back. Observant gamers may have noticed something different on the box for the new game. Yep, there, uh, no, pan over that way. Yeah, there. Plus Bowser's Minions. What is that? 
Bowser, being furious that some other villain has stepped in, decides that he needs to partner with Mario and Luigi to try to topple Cacletta. And that's the basic plot of the Superstar Saga game. But then what happens is as they set off together, uh, they get separated and Bowser disappears from the story for a while. Bowser's Minions, uh, which is a mode in the game uh, and it's called Minion Quest, tells the story of Bowser's underlings as they try to find out what happened to Bowser in the meantime. And so the story of Minion Quest runs in parallel to the events of Superstar Saga. Um, the gameplay starts off very simple. Uh, you've just got a few different types of minions, Goombas, Paragoombas, maybe some Hammer Bros and things like that. And between each battle you get these little vignettes that start to t piece together the story of what was happening to Bowser in the meantime while Mario and Luigi were off on their quest. And it's a lot of fun. You know, there are a lot of great RPGs for Nintendo's family of 3DS systems, but clearly there is something very unique about the Mario and Luigi experience. I think, put simply, it's the humor of the games. These are funny games. It's a difficult thing to make a game funny. You, know, you can make them scary, you can make them emotional, but actually get something that makes you laugh when you're playing, that's really tough. And if you think the guys in Japan made the game and then the Treehouse team localized it and they still kept all the humor in it, it's a really strong achievement what those guys did. And, you know, I've found myself, while I've been you know, playing the games, just giggling to myself and you, you don't often do that in games and it's great to have this type of games where you can have fun, it's got the RPG, it's got the platform element but it's also going to make you laugh. Like One of my favourite bits is in the original game when you're doing a save point you've got your little passport photos. It's not just a normal passport photo like this, you just control with the d-pad and make yourself look as stupid as you can. It's just, you know, that's one of the classic humorous elements that we see in these games and I think it's much stronger for it. Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions comes out on October 6th and I can't wait to hang out with the bros. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.